The severely affected areas have received 5 million in funding for relief assistance following news of food crops destroyed by frost and a shortage of water in the recent weeks due to the El Nino drought and effects of climate change. The visit follows the Prime Minister's direction last week for the Department of Prime Minister and National Executive Council to provide 5 million in funding for the provision of relief assistance to the severely affected areas. PM O'Neill first visited the district of Tambul in the Western Highlands province, which was the worst affected and one of the first districts to be badly hit by frost. He also visited Yalibu Pangia to assess the damages and assure the people that relief supplies were on its way. The Mandy Munhu electorate also received a visit where supplies have been received and are being distributed. Every week, every second week, but you may go yet until rain is down. So. The Prime Minister's department and other agencies have been tasked to assess the affected areas as conditions continue to worsen. Also in concurrence, the National Agricultural Research Institute is playing its part by visiting affected areas and providing free crop seedlings for replanting in hopes to sustain the people. These measures are being pursued in an attempt to ease an impending worsening of conditions anticipated in the coming months. Because people are like him, make him so awesome. Kai Kai, now this is something must go to our community in our man Mary. People are less low, something is loose, low road. Now our man Mary, no such thing more assistance. Also, now people are calm, now people are around, now look, look, low, all got up, low, side, low, you meet first time. Behind, but you may go to Simbu, now more of it, now all got up, so. There's like every, you know, money working. And nature is working, so you may learn, low, I'm the nature. That's what Miss Howell said. And by enough staff also work at the time, behind the rain, by come, now by you may go a normal way. The Prime Minister says through quick response, it is reassuring to see that communities are receiving relief supplies. However, he adds that in order to ensure the broader coordination and effective delivery during the critical period, food and other supplies will be transported directly to destinations instead of distributing cash. Vanessa Knight, National, MTV News.